Capricorn Rising's May 2024 is an insanely exciting, very fun month of breakthroughs with both your creativity and maybe your romantic life. So one or the other or both is getting a huge breakthrough this month. If you're excited to get into what we can expect this May specifically for you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I am Erin. I make videos about astrology, and I also have private readings as well as courses down below if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me or to learn more about astrology. And I also make music, so like find me, stream me, all the things. And for a lot of the events I talk about in this, there will be full-length videos that you can also find on my channel. So starting out on the first, Venus in your fifth house will be squaring Pluto in your second house. Venus, alongside a lot of other positive planets, are moving through your fifth house of dating and creativity. Either or both of those things, dating or creativity, are getting a ton of action and things happening during this month. But with the square from Pluto in your second house of finances, you might feel like, you are financially burdened or you are in a bind with creativity and dating versus money. Then on the seventh, there's a new moon in your Taurus fifth house. This is super exciting and positive because the fifth house is all about fun and enjoyment. And this new moon is so positive that this shows really clearly a positive, uplifting, super, super amazingly exciting new beginning around dating or creativity in your life. And I love this energy. It is super fun and uplifting. Then from the 12th to the 13th, the sun will conjoin the Uranus in your fifth house, showing probably random erratic events, specifically from people that you look up to or are counting on with creativity or your dating life. And from the 17th to the 19th, the sun will conjoin Jupiter in your fifth house, showing gracious or generous behavior from people involved in creativity or dating. And during this time on the 18th, Venus is going to be conjoining Uranus in your fifth house. Venus being love and harmony and Uranus being chaos and disruption shows random, surprising, shocking things, but positive things happening around dating or creativity in your life. Then on the second half of this month from the 19th to the 28th, Jupiter in your fifth house will be sextile Neptune in your third house. This is kind of in the background and it's showing that the growth of creativity and romance in your life is helping you achieve goals with your day-to-day -day productivity or tasks, content, writing that you are making. Then on the 23rd, there is a full moon in your Sagittarius 12th house. Full moons are all about letting go or having an ending. And with it in the 12th house of mental health or mental barriers or addictions, you could be working through something that has been a holdup or a difficulty for you. Then on the 22nd to the 23rd, the sun in your sixth house will be trying Pluto in your second house. So now later in the month, we're moving into planets, moving into Gemini, which is your sixth house of physical health or coworkers. And with a trying to Pluto in your second house of money, it shows that you are actually doing really well working hard or working on your physical health and that is helping your finances. Then on the 22nd to the 23rd as well, Venus is going to cross Jupiter and the sun between your fifth and sixth houses, showing abundance and positivity is crossing over from your creativity and your dating into your health and people you work with. Then on the 26th, Jupiter is entering your Gemini sixth house for the next year. Jupiter is all about expansion and positivity, and the sixth house is about either our physical health and maintaining that, or people that work for us and with us, like coworkers or employees. One or the other or both is getting a lot of positivity and expansion. And on the 30th to the 31st, Jupiter will try and Pluto in your second house, showing that you are financially focused and motivated on these health or workplace benefits and what you're putting the energy into. And we end the month on the 31st with Mercury conjoining Uranus in your fifth house, showing random, uh, surprising, shocking communication coming to you about creativity or dating. Let me know how you are feeling about this month so far, what your plans are and how this works with them, and any thoughts that you have predicting how things will happen. Definitely comment down below and let me know. And now let's pull a tarot card to see what the other energy is that's coming up for you. The tarot card that we have here for Capricorn Risings is the Nine of Swords Reversed. So the Nine of Swords Upright is someone who cannot sleep and is paranoid and in their head and anxious. This shows, do not be worried, it is in your head. Literally, what you are thinking of is in your head. You do not need to be concerned, anxious, worried about what is happening. Hope that this was helpful and hope that you have an awesome start to your May ahead. I really like this month, so I'm excited to be talking about it with you all. Do make sure that you do all the things like subscribe. I know about 50% of you are subscribed. Let's get it closer to 100 maybe, little by little. Anyway, do comment down below if you have any thoughts or feelings about this May, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.